What's the score here? Not a single or double. Here's a triple signal 30. Two congenial friends are in one car, breezing merrily down the road. Approaching them is another driver, alone in his car, using the right side of the highway. Now, the two men apparently dislike their legal portion of the road. They move to the left. This is what happened. Three people are dead. Here, the oldest traffic law in history has been broken. Keep to the right. Now, the men who died in this one were no different than you or I, really. So imagine yourself in this position. Believe me, it could happen to you. What is the price to be paid for failure to yield right of way or violating a stop sign? Well, if caught, it could result in a fine, and just maybe you can get away with it. Well, here's a big price that was paid. Four women met death because the driver of one of the cars failed to stop at a stop sign and failed to yield right of way. In addition to the four fatalities, three are seriously injured, two of them children. The cries and moans of the maimed are a grim accompaniment to tragedy. The woman whose cries you hear died a few hours later. She was the mother of the driver of the car. The car's driver was found to have had a long record as a traffic violator. Has the accident given her sleepless nights and regret? The fact remains that her callous defiance of law led to the death of four people. So this is the price that can be paid for violating a simple traffic law. Are you willing to pay it? Can you afford it? Think again, friend. Think again. Do you, as a driver, wish to assume the responsibility of creating a hardship by destroying the life of the head of a family? Would your conscience ever rest? What is the impact on a family whose husband and father met death? Let's watch and listen. Ma'am, if you recall, last fall I had the unpleasant task of informing you that your husband had been killed in an automobile accident. That is one of the many unpleasant tasks that we police officers have. Today I would like to get some sort of a message from you to pass on to the motoring public. As you know, there are many thousands killed in accidents each year. What type of uh, work did your husband do? He was a lineman for the High Edison Company. He worked with high voltage. He had a very dangerous job. He was careful with his job. Was he a careful driver? Well, he was a fast driver. He was usually reasonably careful, but he did drive fast. More so when he was alone than he did when the, the children and I were with him. Did you ever have to correct his driving? Yes, I asked him to slow down quite frequently. And how has this accident uh, affected your life and your families? Well, it means that uh, I'll have to go to work very shortly, provide for uh, the children's education, all their needs, whereas they would have had a father to help with that. The letter E is an important item in highway safety. It stands for education, enforcement, and engineering. Our highways are engineered for safety and convenience. Enforcement officers are trained and alerted to help traffic flow smoothly and safely. And that leaves the third E, education. And that one involves all of us. 
If we educate ourselves to our dangers and our responsibilities, we can expect accident-free highways. We can obey the law. We can use courtesy and consideration. Let's all of us regard the automobile as a useful servant and priceless necessity, not as a weapon to maim and kill. How do you want to die in traffic? How do you want to kill a loved one of yours? Well, we could show you more to give you a wider selection. All of these resulted from violations of simple traffic regulations. It's up to you and your own driving habits. We don't like to take these pictures, but whether we show you or your loved ones in the ugly sprawl of death is largely up to you. You can be, if you wish, just another Signal 30.